Hey guys, welcome back to another movie review. Yes, we're back with movie reviews. I promised you guys that we'd be doing some movie reviews. And here we are. We are back with another movie review. Sorry for the, like, kind of the absence in movie reviews. Just wasn't much to watch as of late. But now we have something new, and I am very eager to talk about it. I literally just got done watching it. Um, and that would be The Stranger, which was uh, written and directed by Thomas B. Wright. I think that's his middle name. Starts with, starts with B. Um, stars Joel Egerton and Sean Harris. And um, I don't really know if I should give away anything because I went into it very blind. I knew something involving a cop and I that's pretty much all I knew. And I think you should go into it with that kind of... Um, with that kind of uh, stuff already known. Um, because going into it rather mysterious and rather blind actually gives so much more uh, um, than if you knew more about it pre before you watched it. So um, I really liked this movie. I, I really, really enjoyed it for on many levels, but um, the, the 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 weakness to the stranger that I will say right off the bat is that its screenplay is rather um, dull and it is I definitely the weak point of of the stranger um, because in different hands this could have been very flat because its dialogue and just the way that the movie the the, the, the story itself is just on paper if Put in different hands, it could have been very, very stale. But thankfully, with Thomas Wright at the helm of this, and with terrific performances like Joel Egerton and Sean Harris uh, to take center at this, you, uh, especially Thomas, I'm just I think that the direction of this is just splendid because um, it explores uh, both psychologies of both Sean and Joel's characters and how they are very similar in many aspects on an emotional level from their anxieties to their paranoia um, to their, um, um, you know, their, uh, um, like this, this haunting, uh, at hauntingness, I guess if that's a phrase, um, that glooms over them, this, you know, there's, but they have different, uh, um, what is it? They have two different, um, uh, motivations and reasonings behind it, absolutely, they have polar opposites in that regard, but they're very, very similar in terms of their emotional states. They're very, very similar characters to follow. Um, one of them has to confront their past, while uh, the other is hoping to forge a future for themselves. Um, you know, um, and, um, and I think that, that the exploration of that, um, of that idea from Thomas was just splendid. I, I think the direction here is just brilliant. Um, the score is also just thunderous and um, monstrous and properly haunting. Like I was um, always put on high alert when the score was being played. It, it was just like your heart just starts to you know move because the score has this. Um, very odd quality to it, which I think really enhanced the the vibe and the uh, the atmosphere at play. Um, the editing is also spectacular. I love these these quick cuts to to give you a a, a a small jolt in certain regards, and it just keeps you on your feet. The editing never lets you just kind of simmer and relax. You know, it always keeps you on alert. Um, and and that's like the feeling that you get throughout the entire movie is that you're always like the char like Joel's character especially, and to an extent also Sean's, you are always like, you know, like you never let your guard down. And I love that the how the stranger captures that that type of anxiety um, that is being um, that is brewing between these two characters, more or less with Joel's. But um, but to call it a thriller would be uh, would be undermining it because it is definitely a horror film at its core like the way that it represents its ideas the way it, it's its imagery is um it very much so like there's one scene of Joel's where he is um where he uh where he walks around with with a knife um in the middle of the night and just um the way that that's set up and just the way that the, the 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 camera plays uh, the camera work plays and just the overall imagery of it 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 you know if it 
it doesn't scream at you at that point that you know it's trying to portray itself as a hor horror type um then i don't know what would what will but um i also love the um the the structure of the of the film as well it's not playing it just straight face you know we leaped we you know it, it unveils certain things um within its structure that you weren't expecting um and i thought it was very well orchestrated like it didn't feel like oh okay like i kind of expected this or whatever um you know everything felt very very well placed and um i just think that the screenplay is the only thing that i that i can think of that really is holding the film back because when the characters start to talk and when you just hear the dialogue it's just rather simple you know it's not as complicated or as um uh as a uh, sound i guess um, it really boils down to the craftsmanship and the people who are working on it that really, really give this film, um, genuine frights, genuine tension, um, and, you know, thrills, intrigue, all of that is, you know, all of that is, is coming from Thomas and of course from these two performances. Um, cause without these aspects, I really think this movie would not work and would not be a solid, solid piece because I really, really enjoyed it a lot. Um, there's hints of, uh, like through the score, I must, I must mention like some of the, there's little hints of like Blade Runner and, and also in the film as well. Like I can tell that there was like some like homages or not some homages, but there, at least like some inspirations from Blade Runner. Um, especially in the score, I can just tell like some of Evangelist's like type of notes and, you know, type of, uh, um, just like, you know, in terms of how the music plays, I got like a Blade, a Blade Runner type sense. Um, like if I were to bring up two films, I would say that, that The Stranger is in some ways like a combination of Blade Runner and Prisoners, uh, more or less like Prisoners, um, where, you know, it's just like this, like, you know, uh, you know, down to earth, you know, grounded, uh, gritty, um, thematically or psychologically interesting, um, piece, you know, about like, you know, descent, paranoia, anxiety, and you're seeing that through two different perspectives. And I think that it's just done wonderfully and properly haunting, incredibly, in incredibly tense. I dug the whole time. Um, I would just felt intense. And, um, I think that it, mostly is due to its editing, which I think is just splendid. Um, it's, and its direction. Um, and of course the these performances are, are stellar. So I really, really, really enjoyed it. As you can tell, I just, I'm, I'm just geeking out about it because I really, really enjoyed myself. Um, I do again wish the screenplay, um, had a little bit more to it, but, um, but, um, but thankfully Thomas, Joel, Sean, and whoever the editor is, uh, chose to partake in this particular story because it really, really, um, um, you know, they are what really bring that script alive because that script on its own is just not as, as strong. Um, so I really, really enjoyed it. And I'm curious if it's based off a novel of any kind, because that was like one thing that kind of, you know, that I was kind of getting towards the end was like, is this kind of based off a novel of some kind? Um, but, but yeah, please go check out uh, The Stranger. It is, really really good i really really enjoyed myself um so that's my thoughts on the stranger uh you guys let me know if you guys seen the stranger did you guys like it did you guys uh hate it i personally loved it um but uh you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and that's it for this video stay tuned for more videos we'll have some more movie reviews pretty soon here and that's it for me hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one